Hey y'all and welcome to another video. Today I'll be taking you through my day as a homeschooling, homemaking mama of three and just sharing a glimpse of what a typical day looks like for us. I'll also be answering some homeschool questions in today's video. So we're starting out with a little morning routine. I wanted to share what my morning looks like before my kids wake up. There are mornings I will lay in bed until they're up, but I love to get out of bed and enjoy my coffee before the craziness starts. There's nothing like that morning time, peace and quiet. I'm able to process my thoughts and gear up for the day. I'll normally use this time to work if I need to edit. I'll look over my emails. I might not necessarily answer the emails right away, but I will just check my inbox and see if there's anything urgent that I need to respond to. On this particular morning, I had some bills to pay as well, so I'm gonna get that done while I have my coffee. to make my bed up every day. I just recently gave my room a refresh. I added some new bedding and curtains and I just really enjoy seeing it put together but I also love crawling into a bed that's made up at night so that's my motivation behind making up my bed every morning. normally fold laundry first thing in the morning, but this load that's in the dryer is nothing but towels. So I decided I would go ahead and just get those folded and put away. Towels don't take long to fold. That's my favorite load is a load of towels because they are so fast to just fold and put away. But I generally like to wash, dry, and fold one load of laundry each day. So every morning I do start a load at some point. So here in a second, I'll go ahead and start a load and I'll get that folded later. Sometimes the next day or longer, just depending on what we have going on. But that's what I like to try to stick to so that I can keep up with my laundry. So my four-year-old is usually the first one up and she always wants cereal for breakfast and I'm fine with that. So we do cereal and Pop-Tarts around here when I'm still trying to wake up myself and get productive, but I will make something more suitable in a bit. It's usually about mid-morning. I'll make some eggs or something. Some mornings we do sausage biscuits. Sometimes we do pancakes. It really just depends. My kids also like cheese grits or eggs and grits. It really just depends. On this particular morning, we're going to have some eggs and pigs in a blanket. So I'll be making those here in a bit. As a homeschool family, my kids wake up at different times. I don't have a set time that I make them get up. I just let them wake up on their own unless we have somewhere to be or something to do, of course. I also let them have downtime before we get started so they can watch TV, they can play, anything they want to do until we start. And that also gives me some extra time to get some work done. I can film or edit if I need to, but I do like to have everyone dressed, fed, and school started by lunchtime. And that can vary from day to day, just depending if we have something to do, then I will get them started sooner so we can go ahead and knock it out. And I think someone asked about how we get school done while we're away from home. And the answer is simple. I just take it with us. I have a backpack that I'll put everything into and then we just do it on the go. Something I always like to do is get myself ready, get my teeth brushed, face washed and moisturized. I'm gonna put in my contacts, just the basic stuff. 
And I also like to do some makeup. I don't wear makeup every day. There's sometimes I just do a fresh face, but this whole routine takes me maybe 10 minutes to do, so it's super fast. Thing I'm gonna do is put on some deodorant. I've been in love with this deodorant by Wild. Wild is a natural refillable bathroom brand. So it comes in a reusable case with compostable refills. And deodorant is something that's on our skin all day for hours. So I like to use deodorants that are made with safe natural ingredients. So I love that Wild is powered by plants with no sulfates, parabens, or aluminum salts. And all of their formulas are certified vegan and cruelty free. Their cases come in all different colors and styles, but I absolutely love this new heart case for Valentine's Day. It's even got my name on it. It's super, super cute. They offer 11 different scent refills. I'm wearing the new rose petal scent and it smells so good. I can smell it throughout the day and it seriously smells like I'm wearing perfume, but no worries if the scents bother you. They do offer an unscented deodorant and a sensitive range as well. This case would be a great Valentine's gift for a partner or just a treat to yourself. But the best part is every time you buy from Wild, they will plant a tree. So we get to help build the wild forest. I have partnered with Wild on today's video. So that means there's a discount for you guys. I'll put the link below and my code Kelly's Corner for 20% off will be auto applied at checkout, but it's not gonna last long. So head over and snag that discount while you can. Big thanks to Wild for partnering with me on today's video. Moving on to breakfast. I do like to feed my kids something suitable before they start school, some protein. So this morning we're having what we call pigs in a blanket, which is smoky sausages wrapped in crescent rolls. We had more sausage than we did rolls, so I'm gonna cook the rest of those in the skillet, but I'm also gonna make some eggs to go with it. So after I finish the sausage, I'm gonna scramble some eggs and cook those in the same pan as I did the sausage, making what we call here in the South, dirty eggs. Let me know if y'all call them the same thing, but we call them that because they look dirty, but they are so, so good because they just got cooked in the same pan as the sausage. Lots of flavor. <laughs> dishwasher so I can load the breakfast dishes into it and I'll be able to put any of the dirty dishes that we accumulate through the day right in without letting them pile up in the sink and then tonight after dinner all I have to do is start it up so tomorrow morning I'll repeat the process by the way someone told me not to put my caraway pots in the dishwasher and I keep forgetting I'm trying to make a habit out of hand washing those If 
if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper? Would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem? If I posted a Now that everyone's been fed, the sweet sound of the dryer is going. We will go ahead and get started. I turn my TV off so there's no distractions and it stays off until we have completed school for the day. Tablets go up. You won't see my oldest. He likes to get school done in his room. He does an online school called Acellus that I'll link below if y'all are interested. He's pretty independent with it. So there's not much that he needs from me. He's got real teachers that he can communicate with and it's also accredited. So he will get a diploma straight from them when he graduates. And he's actually been able to get ahead a little bit. He's a whole grade level above what the public school had him. So I'm really proud of him. Able to see his grades on my phone as well as how much time he spends on each subject. So again, I'll have that link down below. I'm not affiliated with Acellus. We just really enjoy it. Okay, so for my four-year-old, she just turned four in November. So school with her is very lighthearted. I go with the flow of what she wants to do and we only do it for as long as she's interested. So like right now she wants to draw and color. So that's what she's going to do while I work with my seven year old. And you'll see that doesn't last long and she's ready to move on to something else. So we got out the Duplo Legos. By the way, I highly recommend for toddlers and preschoolers. Ray absolutely loves hers. We also have a preschool busy book that we work in sometimes. I'm going to link all of this down below for y'all, but school with her is very light because she is so young. A lot of her learning right now is through play, and I had actually planned to go ahead and start her in pre-K this year, but I found that she just wasn't quite ready for that yet, and that's totally okay. So we'll try again in the fall. She, like I said, just turned four years old, so it's hard for her to really sit still for any amount of time and stay focused on one thing. But we have all sorts of things for her to do. We have magnetiles, blocks, Play-Doh, so she's definitely not bored. And you'll see me going over to my computer and working in between homeschooling. I will work on editing or whatever it is that I need to do, and that's specifically one reason I wanted this homeschool classroom slash office workspace so that I could work and homeschool at the same time. I just did a whole video on this, so if you missed that, I will have it linked down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the first question that I have to answer about homeschool. First question is what curriculum we use. So I've already talked about my oldest. He uses Acellus, which is an online school, but for Kane, and I've used it with Ray too, we use Easy Peasy, it's free. You just have to buy the workbooks or you can print the worksheets from home. So we use that as a base guide, but I also supplement. So if I see they need some extra focus in one specific area, then that's what we work on. For instance, Kane is working on penmanship right now. He can read like nobody's business, but his handwriting needs some practice. So I got a workbook off Amazon that helps him with letter forming and neat handwriting. So we do that daily along with a spelling book that I supplement with. And that's just my style of homeschooling. I really just pay attention to their needs. And if I see they need to work on something, then we work on it until we've mastered it. Kane also does fix it grammar. It's one sentence a day and it slowly teaches your child grammar over time. Again, I'm gonna have all of this linked in the description box below. I will link anything that I have found helpful during school time. On to the next question and that's how do you homeschool 
with an infant. And while I don't have any infants anymore, I did start homeschooling my boys when Ray was pretty young. I don't even think she was two years old yet, but I took advantage of nap time and I set aside my expectations. When I did that, I wasn't stressed and trying to force a schedule that didn't work for us. So we just got it done when we could. And once I understood homeschooling for what it is, it made my life so much easier. And what I mean by that is I'm not doing public school at home. We don't have set hours that we have to get it done. It's homeschool. So we can fit it into a schedule that works for us. And my kids are always learning in everything that we do. So I have to remind myself of that as well. Someone asked how we submit work. So we are in the state of Georgia and Georgia doesn't require work to be submitted. We do have to test every three years after the third grade, but that's all they ask for. Of course, every state is going to be different. You'll have different rules and laws. So I'll link the website to the Homeschool Legal Defense Association website and you can look up your state there and it'll tell you what's required. But here in Georgia, we don't have to submit work. The last question is, can you homeschool high school age? And the answer to that is yes. At least in the state of Georgia, you can. And I would assume that you could homeschool high school age in any state. But again, I will have the Homeschool Defense Association link down below for y'all. So this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight. I've got these two boxes of rotisserie chicken thighs from a Hungry Root box. We've got four biscuits exactly left in this bag. So we're going to pop those in the oven. We've got some corn on the cob I need to finish. And then I'm just going to cook this bag of baby llamas. And that is going to be our dinner. So super easy. This is already cooked. You just got to pop it in the oven and let it heat through. lunchtime and that's the case most of the time by the time we're finished it's time for dinner so I like to get that started about 4 or 4 30 so we have some time to eat and get cleaned up and just unwind for the night but I hope that y'all enjoyed this video I haven't posted one of these in a while so I felt like it was overdue if you have any questions that didn't get answered feel free to comment or message me on Instagram also, before you go, be sure to leave a butterfly emoji in the comments. I always enjoy seeing those. Remember, if you want to check out Wild, I'll have that link down below as well. And the coupon code Kelly's Corner 20 will be auto applied at checkout. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.